So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. This is your very own mask order this side. And first of all, before starting this video, I would like to thank you all for the overwhelming response on the previous video. Thank you for watching my video and subscribing to my channel. I hope things are going well now. Now today is the question that I would say it's interesting after a two days gap. Yes, the question of uh, yesterday and day before yesterday was not that up to the par. But today's question is, you can see it is asked by Google also. Okay, it is a medium level problem, but Trust me, you will get a lot more knowledge while attempting this question. So let us see what does the question say. The question is cloned and undirected graph. Okay. So if I told uh, told you that this is a graph one, and this is my graph two, can you spot any difference between the two graphs? One difference is they are of different colors, right? Another difference is I am not able to spot any difference. But there is a difference. What is the difference? The difference is in the addresses of the nodes. Addresses of corresponding nodes. Right? The uh, node 1 is might be is taking an, another address than node this one. Right? Similar for 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, the question, uh, the question that has been asked to you is that you have been given a, a root node. Right? Suppose a root node for this question is 1. Right? You have been given a root node and the root node is a part of a connected graph. It is given that the whole of the, of the graph is connected, right? And it is also given that it is an undirected graph, right? These three things are given. What are what do we have to do is we have to make a clone of it. Clone of it. For those of you who are not familiar with the word clone, clone means simple copy, right? Yeah, as an, as an engineer, I know that control C, control V is your favorite, but it is something not sort of that. We have to clone it, we have to make it copy without using control C, control V. We have to code the copy method, right? How do we do this? We have to form the same graph. We have been given a node. So let us see what is the structure of the node, right? So the structure of the node is that it has a value. What is the value? For this node, for example, the value is 4. For this node, the value is 5. For this node, the value is 3. And it is a it has a vector of type node star only that it, the vector will contain another nodes and it is named as neighbors right what are the neighbors for for node one neighbors are two three and five for node two neighbors are two and four for node three the neighbors are three and one for node five the neighbors are one and four right these are the neighbors the node uh, node will contain the value and its vector of neighbors right. Now you have to solve the problem of cloning. How will you approach it? So mark my words, whenever there is a question of graph, 98% chances are that it will be solved using a traversal technique. Traversal technique. And among this 98% chance, there is a 99% chance that it can be solved using both either BFS or DFS. Right, so you don't have to confuse or confuse uh, yourself up with uh, with the, whether you should use a, use a BFS or a DFS. Right, you should be solving with them with both. Anything can become right, but there is also one percent chance. So I'm not saying that take any of the process anytime. I'm saying there is a one percent chance that it will be solved either by BFS only. It will be solved either by DFS only. Such as rotten oranges problem can only be solved using BFS. It cannot be solved using DFS. Right. Okay, so this problem is comprising of the 98% chance that it can be solved using BFS and DFS. But I find the code of DFS to be more simple because DFS uses recursion, right? And from the previous two days, at least, uh, or I would say uh, previous four days, we have been solving the question of recursion only. Another thing is recursion only solves a sub problem and we just have to continue. Whether as in BFS, we have to use a queue, a sector, a sector, and hold the whole problem down with, and the code also becomes lengthy, right? So we will use the DFS for today's recursion. If you want the BFS, BFS version of it, comment down in, and I will uh, share you the code of BFS, right? So let us continue with the DFS uh, sub problem, right? So the DFS says that solve it for a sub problem and then return. Okay, so we have been given, as you see, we have been given a template as node star node. We have been given the node only. So if I have got the node as uh, let us name this function as f, right? 
So first condition is that if my node is equals to equals to null, if my node is null, then return null, right? If my node is null, I have to return null. I cannot clone anything of null, right? I have to return null in this case. All right. But if it is not a null, then what do I have to do? For that, I will be requiring a map. And what will my map do? My map will store the key value pairs. And what are the key value pairs? The key will be my original node. And my value will be my cloned node. So my map will actually store one, this will be my key, and this will be my uh, value. For two, this will be my key, this will be my value. For three, this will be my key, this will be my value. For four, this will be my key, this will be my value. For five, this will be my key, and this will be my value. So I hope you are clear with the map concept. So we have got a map, original node as key, clone node as value. Now, if map does not contain my nodes, does not contain my node. That means I have not made a cloned copy. I have not made a clone of a clone of original node. That is why the map doesn't contain node. If the clone was existing, then I would have inserted the original node with the clone node in the map, right? If it does not have my node, then what do I have to do? I will have to assign it a node. That is, MP of current node will become a new node and what do I have to pass? I have to pass the node's value right and an empty uh, empty what empty what do we say yeah empty neighbor array right then I have got a clone copy uh, for the node but the question is that for one I have insert I have made one and the I have to insert two three and five in the one right the one contains the value one and two, three, and five as the neighbors. But the clone copy only contains one, and two, three, fives are still missing. So I have to insert them, right? For that, I will be using recursion. How? Now I will be transferring this node. That is, I will be transfer. I will be traverse nodes neighbor. That is a vector of neighbors, right? And now mp of that is suppose it is a i have to put in the nodes in the cloned neighbor the co in the neighbors of the cloned copy i have to put dot push back now i have to put a in it but do i have to put only a in it or the cloned copy of a i have to put the cloned copy of a right i have to put the cloned copy of a that is i will not put two with this one i will put this two with this one so this two will be returned by clone of this two. Are you understanding? If I call the function for this two, then this will return with this node, right? And I have to connect this node with this. So here comes my recursion, the MP dot pushback. Suppose the function same was F, which were which we are currently in F of, uh, suppose this is my A, so A, right? And then at last, this will make my the clone graph and at last return, MP of the node that is the clone graph. This is my whole algorithm. I don't think there was in the in my approach there was something that uh, that could jumble you up. Still, if you have any question, the comment section is available to you. Comment your code, comment your problem. I will definitely get back to you and I will definitely try to solve your problem. I cannot guarantee I'm not a pro in the DSA, but I will I have some knowledge, but and I will try to solve your problem. Okay, I hope you understand my concern. And let us now code it down following the general trend. So coding it down, our base case was if node equals to equals to null, in that case return null. Correct, this was our base case, no objections. Now if mp dot find node is equals to equals to mp dot end. Now most of you will say that mp does not exist. Yeah, you are correct in this way. So I will make another map, so unordered map, and it will be storing node star 
the value will also be node star the first the key is the original node and the uh, the value is the clone node name it as mp right now if it is not existing then mp of node will uh, mp of node will be new node the value will be nodes value and the neighbor will be an empty array right now right and now for auto it in m in nodes neighbor let me check the spelling of neighbors yeah it is correct mp of node neighbor dot push back what do we have to push back the clone graph clone graph of that node which we are currently traversing right and at last return your mp node why mp node because this node is containing this value this node is my original node and mp node will give me the clone uh, clone node right let us try to compile and hope it will work i have not committed any mistake i think and it is clone graph sorry graph sorry for the spelling mistake let us try to compile on it now working fine so let's submit it in the meantime i would request you to please subscribe to my channel because my requests are making the things progress i was able to see some progress in the previous video and i'm still overwhelmed with the response keep supporting me i am sure I, i make i i i make i will make sure that i will bring the amazing content for you sorry for my fumbleness sometimes it will get increase uh, it will get better uh, with the increasing time but still thanks for showing your love so we will meet you tomorrow with the 61st day uh, we have completed 60 days streak right now and that's all from my side till then keep coding stay safe and keep loving and keep supporting thank you have a nice day yeah.